According to Hurriyat Daily News, in a video posted by the Chadian Defense Ministry, the Army de l'Air Chadien, Chad Air Force, showcased the new equipment to President Mahamat Devi. The TAI Hercus, Free Bird, is a tandem two-seat, low-wing, single-engine, turboprop aircraft being developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries, TAI, as a new basic trainer and ground attack aircraft for the Turkish Armed Forces. The aircraft is named after Vecihi Herkus, a World War I and Turkish Independence War veteran pilot, a Turkish aviation pioneer and the first Turkish airplane manufacturer. The Herkus is equipped for day and night flying as well as basic pilot training, instrument flying, navigation training, weapons and formation training. The aircraft offers good visibility from both cockpits with a 50-degree down view angle from the rear cockpit, cabin pressurization, nominal 4. 16 SID, Martin Baker MKT 16N00 ejection seats, an onboard oxygen generation system, OBORGS, an environmental control system, vapor cycle cooling, an anti-G system, high shock absorbing landing gear for training missions, and hands-on throttle and stick, HOTAS. Microtechnica of Turin, Italy has been selected to provide the aircraft's environmental control system. The Hercus has been designed for 35-year service life. It will serve as an advanced trainer aircraft, light attack aircraft, armed reconnaissance and close air support. The Anker UAV, on the other hand, was assembled by Tusa engineers and local subcontractors. The TAI Anker is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries primarily for the Turkish Air Force, envisioned in the early 2000s for aerial surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Anker has evolved into a modular platform with synthetic aperture radar, precise weapons, and satellite communication. The basic version, Anker A, was classified as a medium-altitude long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle for reconnaissance missions. Introduced in 2010, Anker was granted its first contract in 2013 from Turkish Air Force. The force requested further studies in advanced uninterrupted intelligence, reconnaissance and communication technologies. The aircraft was set to a long development phase to introduce a national mission computer, national flight control system, synthetic aperture radar, indigenous engine and friend or foe identification system. Anker B made its first flight in 2014 and completed factory tests in 2015. In 2017, Turkish Aerospace Industries introduced Anker S and the aircraft entered service with the Turkish Air Force. Turkish Aerospace Industries offers the aircraft in two versions, Anker B and Anker S. Anker I was developed specifically for Turkey's National Intelligence Organization for Signal Intelligence. The drone is named after Phoenix, a mythological creature called Zumrudu Anchor in Turkish.